live five minutes away from the ocean. It's a beautiful place, and we can do all sorts of things, such as swimming and surfing. We don't want to see it become polluted. At the same time, global warming is getting worse. We need to act now, or else our generation will have to suffer the effects. The temperatures will rise, and so will the sea levels. Also, when people dump oil down the drain, the grease clogs the town's sewer system, and it is very expensive to fix. Instead of waiting around, we did something to help. We took action. We are the wind team, and we started Project TGIF, turn grease into fuel. Project TGIF does exactly what it sounds like. We recycle old cooking oil and grease and turn it into biodiesel fuel. Each liter of petroleum-based diesel replaced by a liter of biodiesel offsets 2.4 kilograms of carbon dioxide from being released into the atmosphere. We also refined biodiesel by ourselves to test if it was both practical and efficient. We went through all of the steps of the chemical process, from mixing methanol and lye to make the catalyst methoxide, to heating and filtering the raw oil feedstock. We then combined the two to start the transesterification process that creates biodiesel. Our results showed that waste cooking oil is the most cost-effective source of biodiesel. We asked local restaurants to donate their grease to be recycled. To date, we have over 64 restaurants participating in our program. We also set up a waste cooking oil receptacle for residents to recycle their grease. We work with Greaseco, a local company, to collect the grease from the restaurants and recycling center. They then bring the grease to Mason's Biodiesel where it is converted into biodiesel fuel. Another local company called Guardian Fuel picks up the new biofuel and distributes it to our local charitable organizations such as the Warm Shelter and the Bradford Johnny Center. The biofuel is used for emergency heating plants. We raised awareness for our project to get more people involved. We handed out more than 2,500 flyers at supermarkets and made a radio commercial to encourage people to recycle their waste cooking oil. We also made presentations to the town council and local elementary schools to tell them about our project. Will you help us recycle grease? Yes, we will. Then the sea level could rise and global warming could harm millions of people. facility at the Westerly's transfer station, the team was able to collect more than 3,000 gallons of grease per month to date. start talking about biodiesel for our, our trucks and stuff in the town and someone tells us no we can't do it or it's going to cost more money or this and that we can say hey this group of kids from school did it and they put us to shame so thank you for doing this because you've started Westerly along that path so thank you. Yes, thank you. To expand our project we hope to have 120 restaurants participating in our program by the end of 2010. This will allow us to produce 30,000 liters of biodiesel per month, which will offset 750,000 kilograms of carbon dioxide from being released into the atmosphere every year. To broaden our impact, we are also expanding our project to neighboring towns, such as Warwick, Narragansett, and Mystic. We can all agree that Rhode Island is small, but we're a part of this world, and we can make a difference!